I um, came across this video by the quartering regarding um, Facebook employees not uh, not be not able to uh, report for work. I think three days ago, which uh, came about when uh, Facebook servers crashed. Pero hindi lang eh, hindi lang Facebook on a crash that day. So was Instagram, so was WhatsApp. Eh, for uh, a moment there, a few days ago, I couldn't access my Instagram. So, talagang, well, this story checks out. Now, pertaining to that story, just goes to show you that if you're not careful, no matter how big a company or small a company you are, if if there are lapses in judgment when it comes to yeah, uh, moderation, uh, servers crashing, and of course, um, before that, uh, a Facebook moderator was uh, came out and revealed there was a uh, moderation policies that fa that they have to follow that is uh, implemented by Facebook, but. No matter how big or small a company you are, if you you let lapses in judgment slide, these will haunt you in the long run. I tell you. But that's not my point, actually. <laughs> I just want to get it out of my chest. My point is this. If you rely too much on Facebook for your brand, for your... Uh, for your personal entertainment, for your business, guess what? You'll fall victim to such crashes. Social media is um, is a big thing these days. So big that Facebook, now, you may not agree with me, but Facebook is slowly becoming irrelevant. Well, you could chat on uh, on any other social media platform. Practically, you, you can also chat. You can also chat when there's a live stream on Twitch, on YouTube, on. Uh, well, there are also message other messaging apps like Viber, like um, even on Beagle you can do chat. There are also other social platforms which are more engaging and more positive in nature than Facebook and uh, safer for your data, for your private data. It just goes to show you that not all the world is Facebook. So if you're one of the um, at least 1 billion users of Facebook that that use this platform exclusively, <laughs> I'm very sure you were part of that crash. You experienced that. And for quite... For the next 20... I'm sure for the next 24 hours of that day, you couldn't... You couldn't do anything. You couldn't... Uh, you couldn't get the word out when it comes to your business or brand. You couldn't say your piece. Uh, that's the punishment you will actually get when you're just sticking to one social media platform. So here's my power tip, YouTube. It pays to have more than one social account. Especially if Facebook is not your main social platform. Take it from me. Uh, I've since gone back to Facebook, but it's not my main social platform right now. I only use it to promote my links. <laughs> uh, hell, Reddit is a better platform now than Facebook. Laika is more catered to Filipinos than Facebook. So why should I stick to just Facebook? It's not going to serve my brand. It's not going to serve my advocacy. Kung meron man ako, okay? Kung meron ka man, 
Well, here's my power tip again. Not all the world is Facebook. And it's so much better to have more than one social platform. Tandaan niyan.